The Doderlein vaginal hysterectomy was first described by Drs. Doderlein and Kronig in 1905 and again described by Drs. Gallup and Willem in 1976. Drs. Doderlein and Kronig originally did this procedure in a clampless fashion. The cervix is grasped with two Leahy thyroid tenaculi. Injection of a vasoconstrictor is optional. The vaginal epithelium overlying the cervix is incised from 9 to 3 o'clock down to the surface of the cervix. The anterior cul-de-sac is then entered by sharp and blunt dissection and a retractor is placed. The Leahy thyroid tenaculi are used to march up the anterior surface of the cervix until the top of the fundus is reached, as identified by the fallopian tubes. Care must be taken not to apply too much traction until the top of the fundus is reached. The fundus is grasped securely and gently rocked while applying traction in order to deliver the uterus through the anterior colpotomy. ACOG's committee opinion number 701 states that vaginal hysterectomy is the approach of choice whenever feasible. Evidence demonstrates that it is associated with better outcomes when compared with other approaches to hysterectomy.
care should be exercised to minimize the size of the vaginal angle pedicles by continuing to take pedicles down the cardinal ligaments to the level of the external os of the cervix. Palpate the vaginal angle with the index finger in the cul-de-sac and the middle finger in the vagina to mimic placement of the clamp. The advantages of this technique include great exposure for both the surgeon and the assistants, easy identification of the uterosacral ligaments for plication if desired for vault suspension, and the potential for less blood loss from the posterior cuff since it remains attached until the end. Notice that the posterior vagina is still attached. A number of modifications have appeared over the years. Our vertical cuff closure, bringing the vaginal angles together in the midline, is one of them. <laughs>